Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate multi channel drums for editing. This kind of goes along with my other video, multi channel recording, for the purpose of using takes and comping. So if you get confused, you might want to watch that one first. I've had a number of people tell me that while they love the idea of being able to deal with or comp drums on any multi channel source, as one item on one track, they still want the ability to edit the individual channels. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Now, what we're looking at here is a drum session that I've already comped. We want to comp it first before separating it into individual tracks. And the tracks below are how we set it up in the multi channel recording video so that we can monitor and treat each channel separately. We did that by sending each channel of the drum track to each individual track. But if we need to edit each channel separately, we're no longer going to do it that way. Now we could do is record these tracks to these tracks. There's an option in Reaper. Instead of recording our input, we can record our output. But there's a problem with that. If we record the output of our track, it's going to record our effects and the volume level. And we don't want that. We just want to record exactly what's over here. So we can add the effects and the volume level later. So here's the workaround. Select all these tracks, duplicate them. Let's drag the duplicates up here. Let's change the color of our duplicates, just so we can see which ones they are. We'll make them all red, and we're going to use these just temporarily. Let's select them all, turn off their monitoring right here, turn off the effects by holding Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and it deletes the effects from the track, which is why we duplicated it. So we still have them on these tracks. Now we're going to reset the volume for each track. Double click them, and they go back to zero resetting their volume. So now if we record the output of these tracks, it's going to be the same thing as the multi-channel drum track, just separated. So we select all the mono tracks, switch this to record output, and choose record output mono. And on these two tracks, record output stereo. We also don't want to hear the output of these tracks. So let's select them all, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and that takes them out of the master parent send. So if we go into record on these tracks, we're still going to hear it down here. Let's mute these just to show you. If I go into record, we don't hear the drums because we're not monitoring from here. We can still monitor from down here. Now we're ready to record our entire drum performance. So let's do that on these tracks. Hit record. Now we re recorded our finished drum performance on each individual track. So now we can select these tracks and bring them down to these ones. Just like that. Then we could delete these because we don't need them. Now we have the keeper performance on the individual tracks. So we can mute this because we don't need it anymore, and it should sound exactly the same. And it does. The difference is now we could edit it. So if we want to do editing on the individual tracks, like split this here and here, bring the volume down on these pieces, and keep it up on this one, or do some automation on this one, bring it down, create some points over here. We could bring up just this hit on this four tom track. So now we could edit the individual tracks or individual channels from our drums. But we still have this performance we can go back to. 
if you want to recomp it, just go back to it, recomp a different take, and then re-record it again. And when the channels are separated like this, we could also split them to clean up any leakage from the other mics. If you want cleaner tracks. So anyway, that's separating multi-channel drums for editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.